All right, so what I've done is I've just disabled half of the final amplifier. Remember there was one going in, it split it into two, and it split it into four. Well, the split into four is now just a split into two. So if everything was working up to snuff, it would be a 15 watt amplifier now instead of a 30 watt amplifier. So there may be a bit of a mismatch here because of the loading. But anyway, maybe we can get 10 watts out of it. Yeah, something like that. So let's give it a try. Um, it is drawing 11 amps, something like I mean, 7 amps. Yeah, just over 7 amps. And so let's go up to our spectrum analyzer. And let's see here, we'll go frequency, we'll do 1 gigahertz. Span, we'll do 0 span. Uh, we'll turn on the tracking generator. And we will turn that on. And... There we go. See, we've gone up in power. All right, so let's put this in watts. Uh, amplitude, okay, so I have 60, I have um, 60 dB of attenuation because it's a 30 watt attenuator here and another 10 watt attenuator there, both 30 dB. So we have 60 dB total. So we'll turn our reference offset to 60 dB. All right, and then we will set units to watts. And so we're under one watt now with minus 20 dBm going in. So now I can go to the tracking generator. There we go. Okay, so here, here at minus 14 dBm, I'm getting one watt out. And I can go up to, oh, I can't get to 10 watts, but I can get to about 8 watts. That's pretty cool. Let's set the uh, scale here to... 5 dB, 3, yeah, let's go to, let's go to 3 dB, there we go, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, okay, so good, so uh, let's turn up our tracking generator here, so here's 2 watts, here's 4 watts, 5 watts, uh, yeah, we're getting maybe 6 watts out maximum, something like that, let me turn on a marker, yeah, six, six watts. All right, so our amplifier is working up to six watts. Uh, and if both sides was working, that'd be 12 watts. Oh, we're about halfway there. Um, but I think that's, that's all I'm going to do with this amplifier. Um, I don't think I really have any use for it right now. Um, I may come back to it at a later point in time and maybe do a single amplifier with just one of those nice FETs in this thing. Uh, especially since only half of it is working. Maybe pull out these four FETs, uh, two FETs here. Maybe build a, um, a single board, uh, design a single board and, uh, and run those as a project. That would be, I think that'd be really, really fun. Um, all right, let's turn off the tracking generator and uh, turn off our power supply. And there we go. It's been a fun, uh, it's been a fun series. Uh, I've enjoyed it. It is a, a cool, uh, a cool find for 40 bucks. So uh, yeah, it's been fun. All right, I think I, I remembered one thing I wanted to do before I ended the uh, video here. Um, it is a one to two gigahertz amplifier. So let's sweep it from one to two gigahertz. So uh, here is the output swept from uh, one gigahertz to two gigahertz. And uh, you can see here, uh, we're at about maybe six, 5.8 watts here. Let's turn the marker. Where'd my marker go? All right, marker. We go up to about 7.7 .7 watts, and we go down to about 5 watts. So, yeah, it's it's fairly level between 1 gigahertz and 2 gigahertz. So, yeah, not too bad, but it does operate there.